uh, hello student this is a series of lecture in the fields of uh, chemical engineering our subject here is about material balance with a, with a chemical reactions material balance in the presence of chemical reactions you can see that the uh, total mass entering equal to the total mass uh, leaving that uh, that's mean that the same law of the conservation of mass can be applied but uh, total moles entering will not equal to the total of moles leaving the unit or the or process therefore a general material balance equation uh, you can see that accumulations within the system uh, equal to the input to the system minus out from the system plus generation minus the consumption for a steady state of process uh, that the accumulation terms can be neglected and can be zero while in absence of chemical reaction the generation minus consumption terms will be neglected and the equations will be simplified to the input equal to the output there are two common methods for solving the problems of uh, material balance in a, in, in, in a presence of chemical reaction the first one is the species material balance while the second one is element material balance in this method we will need the extent of reactions the number of moles out minus number of moles in for species for example, 1, 2, 3, uh, divided by the stoichiometric coefficients. In this method, you, we, we will need a chemical reaction equations, while in element material balance, we will not need the presence of chemical reactions. We just need informations about input and output materials. Let us take uh, examples about the species material balance. This process, this reactor for the production of NH3 ammonia. You can see that the extent of reactions can be obtained from any uh, species. The extent of reactions, for example, can be obtained from the amounts of ammonia. Number of moles of ammonia in, out, sorry, out, minus number of moles of ammonia in, divided by the stoichiometric coefficient. The stoichiometric coefficient is the coefficient in chemical reaction. Therefore, in these methods, we will need the chemical reactions therefore the extent of reactions equal to 3 and you can obtain it from another uh, component such as hydrogen nitrogen the same number will be obtained uh, another note here that the stoichiometric coefficients will be negative for the elements in the reactants because there is a consumption this material consumed in the reactants while the stoichiometric coefficients will be positive for ammonia because there is a generation of ammonia in the product streams now after we get the extent of reactions the stoichiometric coefficients the in here, the material balance equations can be solved easily for any components for incomplete reactions i mean when we have a, a, a fraction conversion the extent of reactions can be related to the uh, conversion of the reactions by these equations conversions 
times number of moles of limiting reactants. The limiting reactants it is the species in chemical reaction that would be consumed first, that will be completely uh, run out during the reactions, and there is no excess from these materials. Therefore, extent of reactions can be related to the uh, conversions times number of moles of limiting reactants input to the reactors divided by stoichiometric coefficients for the limiting reactants. Another example for application of element material balance. Let us take this ex example for the reactions of CO2 with water to produce H2CO3 in the liquid phase. You can see that uh, we just need uh, informations about the material in and out. For example, you can have element material balance. For carbon element material balance, carbon input with water equal to zero because there is no carbon in this stream plus number of car element carbon here is one one times the total amount of streams F equal to the number of carbon here is equal to 1 times the uh, fraction of this uh, component times the total amount uh, another mater uh, material balance element material balance can be applied for another uh, elements Another example here, you can see that the production of this uh, mixture, you, you will not need the presence of chemical equation, chemical reactions equation. For element, you have here two elements, hydrogen and carbon. So you have two elements material balance for carbon, number of carbon in this streams equal to 8 times the total amounts of the feed a plus number of carbon here equal to 0 times the total amount of feed equal in the output side that we have 3 atoms times the fractions times the total amount 3 times the mole fractions times the total amount a plus the number of carbon elements here is equal to 4 times the uh, mole percent here times the total amount a plus the number of carbon here is equal to 5 times uh, the mole uh, the more persons times the total amount two independent equations with two announced therefore the equations the two equations can be solved to obtain the value of f streams and g streams thank you see you in the next lecture